Here we go, boys. First big set. Welcome back to another one. Feels like it has been a minute since we've done a video in the old flower chair in front of the old memorabilia wall. This is the Bobby Guy Films and memorabilia wall. And I got some, what do we got up here? We got some federal ammunition. I figured we'd open this video right here in the old flower chair. Like I said, it's been forever since we've opened a video and done a video in here. I used to do all of our foul Fridays in here every Friday. I would get home from my third shift job. What well, was at 6.45, 7 o'clock in the morning, I would get home and I'd have a whole script for the Foul Friday and I'd sit down here and we'd record it and I'd teach you guys whatever we were learning about duck hunting that day. And I miss them. So if you guys want these types of Foul Fridays back, you gotta hit that thumbs up button for your boy. But before we get into the calling, this right here, this is actually a very, very, very old decoy. Check it out, it's like a pillow. Very old snow goose decoy, wooden stake and all. I found in, uh, where was I? In Canada when we went up there. Found that bad boy. That was like, a, that was a prized possession when I found that. It was really neat. I'll never forget it. I, me and Andrew went and parked the trucks, and on the way back, I looked down, I was like, what's that? It looked like a piece of trash. It was that really old decoy, so really cool. But to get into today's calling video, y'all, Two years ago today, I did the first how to blow a duck call video here on the channel. And it was with this call right here. This is our first ever uh, duck call from ducks that we made. And this is actually made out of Coco Bolo wood. So what I wanted to do was start out with this one. We actually don't make these anymore. I'm going to run through a little variety of calls. Uh, I'll show you how they sound. I'll give you my two cents on them. And I'll actually try to teach you what I'm doing with my throat and mouth. A lot of you know how to go A lot of you know how to do that. So there's only so much that I can teach you with like how to actually blow the call because a lot of you know how to just blow the call, you know what I mean? We're going to get into something a lot more important near the end of the video and it's all about confidence. It's the most important thing when it comes to blowing a call around other people is having confidence. Some of the best callers, I've met some amazing callers and they still, around new people in the blind, they didn't like calling, you know what I mean? So, some of us are just too hard on ourselves. Lighten up, people. Learn how to blow that call around your buddies. If they're talking junk on you, or if they're making you feel down about it, you're probably not hunting with the right buddies. Oh, first off, the Coca Bolo ducks, the old ducks call. <laughs> I haven't blew a duck call all summer long. sound a little better. Uh, if I remember anything about this call, it is a single reed wood call, so you actually push quite a bit of air to that bad boy. I think I had a hard time doing a feeder call on it, if I recall. Yeah, that one I can't feed or call on that great. But that is a Coco Bolo uh, wooden, one of our first duck calls that we ever had at Ducks. My other good calls, they're not in here. Let's go get them. So guys, if I can give you any tips right now, one of the easiest things you can do to better your duck calling is to be practicing in the summer months, these off season months, guys. It's really important. And what I do, the most, the best thing you can do, keep your calls in your truck. There they are, right there. Yeah, I always, always, always keep these bad boys in my truck. I'll be scouting for pigeons, I'll be uh, scouting the farms for starlings or sparrows, and I always got them with me. I can be jamming down the road, listen to my tunes or whatever I want to be doing. 
no one with me, I can bust out the calls and I can get to clucking or quacking. Another thing guys, a lot of calls are different. You have to try a few different calls to find out what works best for you. For me, I love acrylic calls. Acrylic calls are the best, they sound the best. That is my two cents. And this one we have here, this is our new ducks duck call and it's actually molded acrylic. So it's the closest thing that you can get to turned acrylic and it sounds awesome. to learn how to do the roll chuckle and chuckle 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 into a quack I've been trying to learn that for a while I just haven't given it enough time guys you can blow a call just like that if not better than me because I am NOT that great I will tell you right now you can learn how to blow that bad boy in no time if you're picking them up right now and learning all season especially in the off season you can't just learn everything while you're in the blind with your buddies it doesn't work like that you have to be at home, out in the shop, in the backyard, preferably away from people because you are going to annoy a lot of people, especially your parents or maybe your brothers or sisters. In my case, my wife. If I go clucking this thing and quacking this thing all through the house, she don't like it because it's loud. That is a molded acrylic duck call from Ducks. I will link it down in the description if you guys want to pick one up. If you've been looking for a call, they are extremely reasonably priced. I would highly suggest one if you've been looking for a new acrylic call. But it is a double reed, and let me tell you, it doesn't take a ton of air. It doesn't take a ton of air whatsoever. Just a standard double reed. Probably a standard bore as well. I don't know measurements and all that jazz. I'm not a call expert by no means. But it doesn't take a lot of air. That's what I love about this call. It's nice and raspy. All kinds of rasp to it. So guys, when I blow my duck call, I want it to come from in here. Down in the bottom of my throat. That air, bring it from the bottom of your throat. Bring it down and... Basically, I'm exaggerating the moan just a little bit, but there is a slight bit of moan in there. If I pull the moan out of it, actually might sound a little better if I pull more moan out of it. I've always heard people say, uh, don't moan in your calls. So. Um, but moaning into calls, especially when you first uh, are starting to learn how to duck and goose call, it kind of helps. It kind of helps there be more of a, a, a medium, a little, basically a middle area moaning. And then once you learn, just like the goose call, <coughs> when you're calling geese, it'll, you'll always start with that moan and let that reed break over on you. If you guys want to see a goose calling video just like this one, drop a comment down below and let your boy know because I would be glad to do one if you guys want to see it. Another tip for all my beginner duck callers, my beginner duck hunters out there, always have a couple duck calls on your lanyard. I usually have two duck calls. I actually, I'm, I'm running low now because I pulled some off uh, and let, <laughs> let Bodie blow them, my son, around the house. Uh, but the reason is, is because I usually have one that's loud, one that's a little more quiet, and not only that, I usually have one or the other that I can feed or chuckle a lot better on than I can do a hell call or a comeback call on, like this one. It sounds awesome with a hell call. This one, it's very small. The barrel is a lot smaller diameter. got a lot more rasp to it and a lot less air can go through this call so when I got ducks coming in I'll usually grab my bigger bore and that's where I can get loud let's let's scream at them a little bit if we got tight working ducks that need some feeder chuckle I'm usually gonna go to my smaller bore duck call just like this one here this is actually an acrylic call it's a lot more expensive than this one here, let me tell you, probably $100 more expensive. But this is a single reed 
very much smaller bore duck call. And let me tell you, uh, to blow this one correctly, it took a lot of practice. Years and years and years of, of duck calling practice. This one is more of a beginner type call. It's a lot easier to blow and a lot cheaper, a lot more affordable. Um, but this one, you have to be able to get to the point to where you know how to regulate your air and the muscle memory in your tongue really has to be there by that point to operate this call very well. I find myself a lot of times, because I am not an expert duck caller by no means, uh, I find myself a lot of times putting way too much air through this thing just because I'm used to being able to do it with the double read, you know. <laughs> this one has a lot of space in there where you can just hammer on it. Something like this, high end, more professional call. Yeah, and more expensive. <laughs> See, when I usually break it over too much, it's because I'm putting too much air into it. So, whatever duck call that you have, regulate your air. That is very, very important. Learn how to regulate the amount of air that you're trying to push through that call. Woo, it is hot in there. I had to get out and get me some air. Check it out. We got old Clark just a chillin. Oh yeah, Clark the Pigeon. Y'all actually named him on a couple videos ago. I thank you for that because I really like the name Clark. <laughs> but guys, there's only so much that I can actually teach you how to blow your call. One thing that I know that I can teach you guys very well and help you with, confidence, confidence, confidence is the name of the game when it comes to duck and goose calling, guys. Even if you're by yourself, you're comfortable, you know, you're not embarrassed because no one's around, guys, do not get discouraged when you can't make this call sound the way you want it to right off the bat. I'm telling you right now, do not get discouraged because it takes so long to get good at it. I mean, I've, I, I like to call myself decent or maybe good, but not really good by no means. And it has taken a lot of years just for me to be able to pick up a duck call and make it sound decent. You know what I mean? So guys, my number one tip is, again, I can't just teach you throw and how my tongue does what it needs to do because it's all built in muscle memory off of how much I've put into just practicing, just time put in. So if there's anything that this video can help you guys with most, it's just put this sucker to your lips as much as you can, whenever you can. And the more you do it, the more you're gonna understand how it works. You're gonna learn the amount of air you need to put through it. You'll learn how to moan into it if you need to moan or not moaning. You might just, moaning, you might just kick out the door and you won't need to moan at all. Moaning's not a good thing, by the way. Moaning into calls, not good. But as a beginner, a lot of times it'll help you learn faster. Confidence is key. If you're hunting with people that are like, dude, you suck, put that away. Look, with some goose hunts, when you're laying in the decoys, it can be a, it can be a thing. But if these people are just being rude and making you feel uncomfortable, get some new buddies. I don't like that stuff. If someone wants to try calling, they have every right to pick up that call and blow the sucker. And you guys do too. Don't let anybody discourage you from calling because you suck. Don't do that. Pick up your call and blow it. Whew. It's getting too warm. I think it's like 96 degrees out, guys, and I am sweating. But thanks for being here, guys. Thank you for always requesting videos just like this one down in the comments. I appreciate it so much. If you guys want to see more duck calling techniques, drop me a comment down there and let me know. And if you guys want to see the goose calling video, oh yeah. <laughs> I think I'm way better at goose calling now than duck calling. Just saying. So if you guys want to see that video, let your boy know. But thank you all for being here. Make sure you go down in the description and check out the Ducks Freedom Package we got. That sick hat and that sick shirt. Only 35 bucks. I'll link it at the top of the description. But thank you all for being here. We'll see you on the next one. Subscribe if you haven't because we're going to be coming at you with these Foul Friday videos all off season long. But we'll see you on the next one, guys. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl that keeps it real